It seems like every year we say this, but for real, 2022 was a crazy year. Lots of loss, lots of energy shifts, politics, layoffs, child, the list goes on and on. And with all the madness in the outside world, it's absolutely critical that we protect our own energy. In this episode of Listen to Black Women, we're checking in with ourselves and we're taking inventory. Have we prioritized our wellness this year? Which boundaries could use some tightening and what parts of us are we saying goodbye to? I'm Christmas, and here to help me break down today's topic are my lovely co-hosts, Jesse Wu, Taryn Finley, and Tiffany Nicole Irvin. So ladies, are we ready to level set? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're serving big zen energy as we flow into this episode of Listen to Black Women. Every January, many of us go through the whole new year, new me routine, and it's okay to admit we're not perfect. Some habits stick harder than others, and some boundaries could use a little reinforcement. Which brings me to the question of the day. How do you determine if you're being selfish in a situation or simply exercising your right to say no? I'll be honest, girl. I don't know if I'm good at either one of those. Mm. I feel like I'm a person that is not really good at being selfish, and I say yes to way too many things that I want to say no to. So that's something that I think I, I have to work on. Maybe you could give me some tips yeah. on being selfish. So I think that there isn't much difference between being selfish and saying no. I think that we look at selfishness as a negative trait, and yeah, yep. there are times when you know, like it's like, oh dang, like you could have helped me a little bit, but like. I, I do believe that we as black women, we offer so much help without yeah. without giving ourselves boundaries to actually mm -hmm. like receive help and say True. no and True. put those boundaries up. And that's when those boundaries become walls, which end up being, you know, more of a hindrance for us and, we and affecting man. us. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just add to that. I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with being selfish. I don't. Uh, I'm the oldest of four. I had to share a lot with my siblings growing up. And so the minute I left the house, I became a selfish person. And that's why I've been able to do so much over the years. Um, of course, there's areas in my life where I'm still gonna be given to people. And, but for the most part, like if I gotta say no, I'm gonna say no. There, I'm not gonna hesitate. If you, wanna, if you see that as selfishness, I don't see anything bad with that either. I have to self-preserve right. first before I can, take care of other people and worry about how other people feel. I hate when people be like, oh, um, like if you have a problem with like a family member, yeah. be like, oh, you know, that's your family. Like you blood, gotta, no, right. I don't yeah. care. Bye. Blood, water, Bye. whatever. Yeah. If you are disturbing my peace, you Bye. gotta go. Yeah. And I'm very good at disconnecting, which is what I found out through my therapist is kind of like a trauma response mm. from, um, my both my parents kind of disconnecting from me like my father wasn't around and then my mom she just was spread really really thin so me i am very good at disconnecting from people yeah so i mean it could be bad it could be good depending on what I, what the goal is because <laughs> i've had like mates tell me okay yeah. come on now like yeah hello like yeah. hello yeah. girl it i'm trying to cut right cut. It, it ain't <laughs> nothing it ain't nothing for me to cut somebody off so i feel like i don't care which who you are to me if you disturb my peace, you have to go. Absolutely. And I'm very good at just cutting that off. That's not no explanation that's, that's needed. Not a bad yeah, thing, no though. explanation needed. Because again, thing. I gotta preserve myself. I gotta preserve my sanity. I gotta right. preserve my happiness. I gotta preserve my peace. And if I feel like you disturb that in any way, like I have to let you go. You gotta go. I have to love you at a distance. That's Ooh, also telling is. people how to treat you too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because. Yeah. A person is gonna get away with as much as you allow them to get away True, with. Yeah. So the more you allow them to do certain things without setting that hard boundary, it's yep, like, okay, yeah. I know I could do this. And exactly. She's gonna cut she me off. So yep. When you cut yep. that off immediately, it's like, okay, let me not let play Jesse right. right. because Jesse's not the one to be right. played with. I feel like saying no is very pivotal to self care. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that a lot of us, we just have the game messed up, right? Like we think that the more we say yes, the better we are as people, as friends, as family, you know, That's as a, a lover. Yeah. 
But the truth is, I think sometimes like saying yes too much, you really start to enable people, number one. Absolutely. Number two, you're really doing them a disservice because instead of finding a solution, they're coming to you, you know, yeah, for a like solution. You end up coddling people. Yeah, exactly. Right. So for yeah. me, I kind of had to just like tell myself a new story. Yeah. So for me, I don't feel like I'm selfish when I'm saying no. I feel like I'm being a good example of what it's like, like to that. love yourself. Yeah, like, like how can I be an example to, like you said, Jesse, yeah. like preserve myself and also, you know, the whole thing, like give from your overflow. But that's a real thing because yeah. if I keep on saying yes to you and now it's taking my energy away, now whoever's looking up to me or looking at me as that go-to person is thinking, that's the thing to do because yeah, I'm modeling yeah. that. So yeah, that's real. Modeling boundaries, like it's a posture, it's a way of life, and it's necessary because the thing is, takers are gonna take. Yeah. That's a fact. They're gonna that keep taking. I think it's so important to change those narratives that we have around asking for help and around saying no and building those boundaries. Like first daughter syndrome is real. Oh, so like real. the oh, fact so that you are able to like yeah. even switch that for yourself is so important. And I think that like unless we show up for ourselves first, we're not able to do what we want to do and like really give and you know be there for the people that we want to be for in the most optimal way unless we do that for us first. Right. Yep. I was literally just talking about this with my therapist mm. this week. It's yes, crazy. therapist. Wow. And she was telling me, she was like, Tiffany, do you realize that you're trying to pour from an empty cup? Like mm. you keep complaining about not having time for yourself, but why are you saying yes to all these things throughout the week? Like you don't have free time because you keep saying yes yeah. to things you don't want to do. And I'm like Dang, girl, drag me. You're yeah. And you're not even supposed to be why? pouring from that cup. Yeah. You're supposed to be pouring from the overflow. Exactly. Because what's in your cup is for you, you know? Exactly. And and I think we need to think more about why we say yes to stuff. I was about to say that. Like, like, uh, everybody here is in the entertainment industry, and I don't know why, but there's this like notion that you've got to be available for everything. There's always an opportunity. There's always this, like there's the always that. Like, wow. Yeah, and it's like, I did that for a little bit, and afterwards I was like, no, what's meant for me will actually chase me. And yeah. once I started saying that, it really did Absolutely. start chasing Absolutely. me. So I don't really, ha I don't find myself having to say no as much as I was finding myself being scared to say no mm. anymore. Because them yeses will yeah. burn you Exa out. Oh my God, yes. they'll burn you out. And then like you're saying yes, and then when it's their time, when it's the other party's time to say yes, they ain't saying yes. And you're like, well damn, well I said yes. Well, where's your yes to my yes? Like exactly. can we balance out yeses? So yeah, like, it's, it's very easy for me to say, no, mm. everything is not for me. And I want to give myself time to enjoy the things that I do say yes to. You know what I mean? So exactly. I'm not saying yes, 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 all over. And I'm not mm -hmm. even processing what I'm doing. Right. You know, so. But wait, I dragged friend. myself not too long ago. And I was like, the real gag is, is that you keep saying yes because you keep avoiding yourself. Wow. So you're looking for a righteous reason to self-sabotage. Distraction. And yes. yeah, I had to just like look at myself yeah. in the mirror. Like, girl, you, you are busying yourself with other people's stuff because you don't want to get busy with your own stuff yep. because you don't that's feel like your own when stuff you finally is there, important enough. That's the real team. When you finally there, it's ugly and you don't have the energy yeah. to address what you need to address yeah. within yourself. Exactly. Well, I can see y'all had a lot to get off your chest with that one. Thank you to everyone at home for tapping in to listen to black women. Listen, we want all the big zen energy and nothing less than the best for you this year. I'm Christmas and these are my poppin' co-hosts, Jesse Wu, Karen Finley, and Tiffany Nicole Irvin. We'll see you next time on Listen to Black Women. The conversation doesn't stop here. Stay tuned for part two of Big Zen Energy.